<laughs> Gentlemen, Detective Warg here. Nice to have you join me in my office. On my desk today is a new report for us to examine. So grab a cup of coffee from the carafe, and let's get right into the topic at hand. So this week, the topic is BPD women should be avoided at all costs. So I'm going to have to give a shout out where shout outs do. Um, I found the source of the video from Sensitive Society. Uh, Amigo is not red pilled, but he does have some entertaining videos with some cool gameplay in the background. And you may have seen his uh, his videos here, there, and everywhere because it may cross pollinate with the red pill at some point, I guess. But either way, um, just wanted to shout out that where the sources do. Um, but to the topic at hand. Uh, Regrettably, I feel like I've just created a bit of clickbait here uh, because the source of the video where she says that, you know, she might have gone to jail um, or she might be going to jail has been taken down from her TikTok account. So I don't know how the hell he managed to find that. But uh, regardless, um, she's basically saying that she found out that her boyfriend was cheating on her. So she's going to break into his house and destroy his belongings. Um, so that's the short and sweet. Uh, that's the level of crazy that a BPD woman may bring to your life. Um, now, I've talked about bipolar disorder, but borderline personality disorder, yes, gentlemen, there is a difference, is um, another mental health issue uh, where there's usually a strong fear of abandonment caused by childhood trauma. So a very important thing to do when you're choosing to date out here, gents, is to always ask a woman what her childhood was like. You know, was the father in the picture? Um, did their parents fight a lot? You know, were they raised good? Because um, I would be very surprised if somebody with a good childhood had BPD. Uh, as to the woman that uh, I've, well, been with, not dated. Um, that was the case. Absolutely terrible upbringing. Um, Daddy wasn't really home, and Mommy had to do a lot of the stuff, so... It's a yikers. But here's the short and sweet of it. Just gonna read that through. Uh, me trying to explain to my boyfriend, I'm not mad, I'm just manic and haven't slept in two days, and I've realized I've spent over a thousand dollars in the last week, and I'm freaking out, so his existence is stressing me the F out. So, she literally doesn't want her boyfriend to be around her while she's dealing with this, and I think the natural thing when you're in a relationship is to um, give people their space where their space is due, but also be comforting. Um, so in this case, literally, how how do you deal with this? Why should you deal with this? That's a question I want you guys to ask yourself. But um, yeah, uh, one of the characteristics is absolutely no control over money um, because they're very impulsive. And I don't know what the hell she spent $1,000 on in a week. I'm sure it wasn't groceries. Either way, going to get into the topic video. Just wanted to give a short and sweet in case you're short on time. But here we go. Uh, alright, this is kind of a funny question because it's like, just because I have borderline means I can't break up with people. Sorry, one second. People? Alright, back to it. That's not how abandonment issues work. For starters, borderlines, um, are actually known for kind of jumping relationship to relationship. Uh, not saying that I was doing that, but there's a... Okay, let's just quickly pause. So, again, another thing with uh, women with borderline. Um, I'm sure even men that have borderline, but keep in mind the amount of men that have borderline is much lower than women. Um, anyways, yeah. Um, your relationship is never fully intact. Uh, they monkey branch quite often. So keep that in mind. I really don't think it's a great idea to be dating somebody like this. The thing uh, in most borderlines called the monkey bar effect, and that is 
you have to be completely latched on another bar in order to let go of the last bar. Um, and that usually comes from like finding rebounds, uh, even not, not even just sexually, just like an emotional rebound uh, to kind of fill that role. Just in case somebody here doesn't understand what a rebound is, a rebound is a person that somebody gets with to uh, move on from the relationship that they're with or to cheat on or etc. It's, it's another person, basically. That you are missing in your partner. For me, with my partner, I was experiencing emotional abandonment far before uh, the relationship was over. So, by the time that I decided to leave him, there wasn't really anything to mourn anymore. There wasn't anything that he was really giving me that I was going to miss. You know, I've been diagnosed borderline now. Okay, so guy emotionally checked out from the relationship. Um... If it comes to that point, gentlemen, just leave them. There's literally no point. I get that, you know, it's nice to have a warm body in your bed at night, but at the same time, uh, find somebody else. Just like with this woman here, um, it's going to drive her absolutely crazy. And, uh, you know, be easy on each other. Um, don't, don't stay emotionally checked out in a relationship unless, you know, you're planning a divorce or something. Uh, which I really hope not. Marriage is a whole nother topic for another day, but yeah. Now for seven years, and I've been in therapy all that time, but I've been in therapy like consistently for four years. And the biggest thing with borderlines is like finding true happiness within yourself because that's going to help you know, your abandonment issues because you're not needing something from another person to fill you. And my therapist has done a really good job at kind of reminding me that I don't need someone else. A big thing my therapist has always said is, mm, I just don't see that with you. I'll be honest. Seven years of therapy. Wow. And uh, I get that this is actually quite normal when it comes to uh, borderlines. So, that's what you have to look forward to. There's only a little bit more left in this clip. I'm, uh, I'm live reacting to this one. Imagine all the trauma you've been through. Imagine every bad thing that has fucking happened to you. The abuse, the trauma, all of this shit. And you're here. You're over it, you know, or you're working on it. You can get over this too. And that has been the biggest breakthrough that I've ever experienced in therapy. I think though that this is really the first time that I chose myself. Um, and I was kind of like, you know what? Fuck you for making me feel abandoned while I'm in this relationship. Like... Somebody else is going to make me feel so wanted, so needed, and healthy. Wow. Uh, isn't that something, gentlemen? So yeah, to wrap things up, because um, we're just about at the 10-minute mark, that's what you would look forward to uh, if you chose to date somebody with borderline personality disorder. To sum things up again before we hit the outro, uh, basically, impulsive with money, will monkey branch if they see even the slightest thing wrong with you. Uh, they spend years and years through therapy, and even then, it's very hard to um, really have them come to terms with their abandonment issues. Um, it's just, you know, something to be wary of if you choose to date them um, or see them casually, because that would even affect you there. Ooh. With that, fiends, it's been a pleasure presenting my findings to you today. And if you liked my content, help spread it throughout YouTube by liking the video and subscribing to my channel. Turn on the notification bells, I'll have new findings for you every single day. 
Do comment down below the video with your thoughts on this creator and any thoughts of mine that resonated with you or any topics of discussion in regards to this video. Don't forget to visit Taylor's channel today as well to catch up on his content as new content should be posted very shortly. Until tomorrow, always do your due diligence.